Hey folks, it is Sunday, December 3rd. The time is exactly 3 p.m. and the temperature outside is around 3 degrees Celsius. And I'm here at a very quiet Ossington station. And this would be the westbound platform. Well, I guess I lied. It says 3.02 p.m. on that screen up ahead. And I find myself needing to be at Pilot Coffee Roasters down on Ossington Avenue, which is located on that popular stretch of Ossington between Dundas and Queen Street. So rather than take the bus, we will go for a walk. I need to be there around 3.30, it is 3.02. Could just take the 63 bus. is where I would have waited for the bus. But let's head outside. This walk should be a little under two kilometers in total. There's the 63 bus, but that one is heading northbound up to Eglinton West Station. It has been raining off and on today, although pretty lightly. I do have an umbrella in my backpack if it ends up being needed. So this is Bloor and Ossington. I walked through here last night making a video. It's an interesting stretch along Bloor Street. And this is to the west of downtown. Off to the east there would be Koreatown. And then the annex. And you might have noticed we got two microphones on me, the DJI mic over here. <laughs> Or the mic two, the mic one is on the right. Just doing a little comparison of the sound quality between the two. That video I recorded last night actually, I ran into a problem with the audio, so I'm not even sure if I can use that. Hopefully we have better luck today. But this first stretch is mostly residential. Ossington Avenue. It's about three and a half kilometers in total. Someone's left the couch out. I can't imagine anyone wanting that, especially after it's been out in the rain. There's the Ossington Pentecostal Church. And this route was originally planned to be a military road servicing the western side of the city. And back in the 1700s, the city of Toronto was known as York. And it served as the capital of Upper Canada.
and it was originally to be named after Henry Dundas. So imagine how different Toronto would seem if this was Dundas Street that I was on. We will be crossing Dundas Street towards the end of this one. Some more furniture. Following the War of 1812, this route was deemed too vulnerable to American invasion and it was destroyed and re-established and apparently from the 1850s to around 1900, Ossington is home to a lot of meat packing factories. Toronto did have a nickname it still does, called Hogtown. Yeah. Well, Alex is just like making... But most of that activity is up in the area at the north end of the junction called the Stockyards. At least in recent years. It's like if you go next week... And this is the western end of Harbord Street. And I'll lead you through Harbord Village and into the University of Toronto St. George campus where it'll change names and become Hoskin Avenue. So there's the 94 Wells Wellesley bus. That'll be terminating up at Ossington Station. There's a lot of people waiting for the 63 bus here. And that heads down into Liberty Village. I don't think we've seen a southbound bus yet. Generally, whenever I need to be somewhere, I like to walk the last leg of it, even if it's 20, 30, or even longer in terms of minutes. In fact, one of the first ever walking videos I did, and it might even be the very first video on this channel, went up Ossington Avenue. That would have been way back, I think in 2018. Interesting looking bike. But the neighborhood over on the left is Little Italy. And to the right, I guess, is the north end of Little Portugal. Although that's Generally thought to be a bit south of here. That is Doosan Street.
apparently the name Ossington Avenue didn't take hold until the late 1880s. There goes the bus. That's the one I would have been on. So the next major intersection coming up is College Street. And you'll notice there's a school on the right. trying to fish the name of that school off of <laughs> Google Maps, but it is not helping me out here. Sometimes when I'm recording these walks, I sneak a peek. Many people ask, how do you remember all that? Well, I do cheat from time to time. I was having brunch at Stacked Pancake House just before this over on Danforth and took the subway over. I realized I had a bit of time. That's when I hatched the idea to record this. And we are at College Street. So our left will take us in through Little Italy, or right? We'll take us through the north end of Little Portugal. That's a really neat mural. It's got one of the older style streetcars on it. bottle shop and coffee. I like how the skyscrapers are just kind of approximations of existing towers. It's a really well done piece of art there. In the same house by the people that brought you this. So 
And prior to the late 2000s, this was a lower rent part of town. the south end was. And a few years ago I was riding my bike in my single speed and I had to get out of the way of a crossing guard who was having a conversation in the middle of the road for some reason and my tire snagged in these streetcar tracks. I ended up recording myself landing on my head. That was fun times. That happened pretty much in this spot. The Ossington slash Old Orchard Public School Junior. It's a mouthful. The next major street will be Dundas, and that's where I'm going. It is just south of there. If you're wondering why there's streetcar tracks here, they connect Dundas to college. That helps when there's any diversions or if they need to short turn a streetcar. That's Pope Francis Catholic School over there. There's another bus. And this stretch coming up just south of Dundas it was a bit industrial through the 80s and 90s. There's a lot of like automotive repair shops and that sort of thing. There's even some gang activity in the area, more like organized crime. But with Queen Street West, which is just south of here, starting to gentrify, and the rents dropping, that attracted a lot of sort of hipster type businesses. It's a lot of bars and restaurants, that sort of thing started popping up on this next stretch of Ossington. I think around 2006 and 2007, it wasn't always a cool spot. 
And it got to the point where the residents were complaining and the city actually froze issuing new liquor licenses, limiting what kind of establishments could open up, but it was apparent that the area was in a state of change and that was lifted, I think, in 2010. And it has just exploded in popularity since. And this stretch of Dundas is quite popular as well. And just south of here is the very popular West Queen West neighborhood. waiting for the lights here and it started to rain a bit this Dundas streetcar can be a bit hokey for such a major route it doesn't have the best frequency and it can take a while to get along Dundas. Although just south of here on Queen, there's a streetcar track as well. But you'll notice it doesn't go south. There's other connectors between Queen and Dundas. Lucky's Bodega. I guess the word bodega is an it thing. I think of more of a corner shop than those kinds of stores. <laughs> Rotate this as a mainstay in the city. Camera holding up in the light rain. Monkey Sushi, I'm a fan of that place. Oop. Get off the camera. South of here on the left is a place called Rooms Cafe, and I did a walk there last week that was requested by a channel member, Claudia. This is my second time in a week walking to a cafe on Ossington. Meet me at Ossington, that's another cafe. St. James Coffee Bar. Here's probably the most well-known spot on this stretch.
Bellwoods Brewery and Bottle Shop. There is the Golden Turtle, an excellent Vietnamese pho restaurant. There's Pilot Coffee Roasters. I've got a few minutes. All right, it is raining. I don't feel like taking out my umbrella, so I think we're gonna end this one here. I hope you enjoyed this one, walking southbound Ossington Avenue. So I take some cover underneath the speaker. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button in the below if you wish to say thanks that way. All right, the camera, it's really taking a beating here. So I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.